Comedies can be difficult to compare. Sometimes you're in the mood for something cerebral, and other times you want to watch people get punched in the nuts. While there are some gems in movie sections, you have to dig through a lot of straight-to-DVD sequels and bad indie flicks to find the best comedies to watch. While people have cracked the code for finding the best comedies right now, we've put together a list of some of the funniest movies as a starting point in your quest for the perfect Friday Night In. Number 10. Get Hard The film is set in a comedy about a bank manager named James King, who is mistakenly charged in a major fraud case. He is sentenced to 10 years in a high-security prison. To help him endure the harsh prison life, the bank manager decides to hire a car wash worker to prepare him for prison life in his last month as a free man. Number 9. Tag One month every year, five highly competitive friends hit the ground running for a no-holds-barred game of tag risking their necks, their jobs, and their relationships to take one another down. This time, the game coincides with the wedding of the only undefeated player. What should be an easy target soon becomes an all-out war, as he knows they're coming to get him. Number 8. The Other Guys Unlike their heroic counterparts on the force, deskbound NYPD detectives Gamble and Hoyts garner no headlines as they work day to day. Gamble relishes his job as a paper pusher, but Hoyts is itching to get back on the street and make a name for himself. When a seemingly minor case turns out to be a big deal, the two cops get the opportunity to finally prove to their comrades that they have the right stuff. Number 7. Horrible Bosses Nick, Dale, and Kurt are workers who would like nothing better than to grind their oppressive employers into the dirt. Quitting their jobs is not an option, so, fueled by alcohol and dubious advice from a criminal, Jamie Foxx, the men devise a convoluted and seemingly foolproof plan to rid themselves of their terrible bosses permanently. The problem is, any idea is only as bright as the brains behind it. Number 6. Game Night The story of the film revolves around a group of friends who meet regularly for play night, find themselves trying to solve a murder mystery. Max and Annie get a first-class game when Max's brother Brooks arranges a mysterious killing party with fake thugs and federal agents. So, when Brooks is kidnapped, it's supposed to be part of the game. When rivals began to solve the issue, they began to know that the game and Brooks were not what they look like. Soon, friends find themselves in a twist that leads to another unexpected turn throughout one chaotic night. Number 5. Ted When John Bennett was a little boy, he made a wish that Ted, his beloved teddy bear, would come alive. Thirty years later, foul-mouthed Ted is still John's constant companion, much to the chagrin of Lori, John's girlfriend. Though Lori's displeasure is exacerbated by the pair's regular consumption of beer and weed, she's not the one who's most disappointed with John. It may take the intervention of John's boyhood toy to help him grow up at last. Number 4. We're the Millers Small-time pot dealer David learns the hard way that no good deed goes unpunished. Trying to help some teens, he is jumped by thugs and loses his cash and stash. Now, David's in big debt to his supplier, and to wipe the slate clean, he must go to Mexico to pick up the guy's latest shipment. To accomplish his mission, Dave devises a foolproof plan. He packs a fake family into a huge RV and heads south of the border for a wild weekend that is sure to end with a bang. Number 3. 21 Jump Street The story of the film revolves around two police officers working in Unit 21 Jump Street and tasked with their return to high school in order to arrest a drug distribution network to the school students in an attempt to prove self-graduation of two newly graduated police officers and take the character of teenagers in a high school to expose the parties to the crime and drug traffickers who dominate the school, resulting in many comic situations. Number 2. Sean of the Dead Sean is a 30-something loser with a dull, easy existence. When he's not working at the electronics store, he lives with his slovenly best friend Ed in a small flat on the outskirts of London. The only unpredictable element in his life is his girlfriend Liz, who wishes desperately for Sean to grow up and be a man. When the town is inexplicably overrun with zombies, Sean must rise to the occasion and protect both Liz and his mother. Number 1. Deadpool Wade Wilson, a soldier turned mercenary who's devoid of emotions, meets a woman named Vanessa and he decides to settle down. But when he learns he has cancer, he's worried about dying on her. But a man approaches him and says he can give him a cure and also powers and abilities. He agrees, and the man in charge of him is a guy named Francis. Wade has a procedure and he is endowed with healing abilities but is also disfigured. Francis says he can fix his disfigurement but doesn't. Wade gets away from him and tries to go back to Vanessa but doesn't because of how he looks. So, he sets out to find Francis by going after everyone who knows him. Now, if you have seen any of these movies, let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, share and subscribe.